Prince Charming is having some trouble finding a date. A big-bellied ghost who has been haunting the fridge a little too much, and a blood-sucking monster who lives in your shoe. They are just a few of the many characters that you will find in the forthcoming children's book, The Tiniest Vampire, uh, and you have the opportunity to help get off the ground, folks. Joining us now to tell us about it is author Jason Witter, uh, also illustrator, which I think is pretty cool. This is, <laughs> this is your baby. Mm -hmm. So tell us about this, uh, the, uh, the full title, The Tiniest Vampire and Other Silly Things. Absolutely. So this is a book of uh, children's poetry, but I tried to model it after kind of the Shel Silverstein, mm -hmm. scary stories to tell in the dark, stuff that I grew up with that I was always super into. Mm -hmm. Stuff that I would hope would be very appealing to kids, but also, you know, adults would get a kick out of it as well. Right. Um, and so the, basically the project started through Facebook, funny okay. enough. Um, I was writing a poem and doing a drawing every day. I started in early September, mm -hmm. and my plan was I would do a poem and a drawing every day all the way until Halloween. And okay. so I was able to do that, and it was super cool, got a really good response, and a lot of folks asked, is there going to be a book? So I was right. like, yeah, I should put these all together in a book. And right. so then I kind of did the mock-up of the book and started a Kickstarter to try to raise funds to help get the book out there. And right. um, yeah, so that's pretty much that's where amazing. it all kind of started. That is yeah. amazing. All right, so, uh, so you said, you know, you grew up with Shel Silverstein. Absolutely. I think a lot of people can relate to Shel yeah. Silverstein. You know, he was a great part of our generation. Yeah. Is that where the idea came from? Was there something else that kind of spurred the idea to take vampires, little monsters, scary creatures? And well, yeah, you know, I've always been into the horror genre in general, mm -hmm. books, films, all that stuff. And I love taking scary creatures, characters, and putting them in funny situations. Mm -hmm. So that's always something I've really been into, is taking a vampire and making something funny out of mm -hmm. it, taking ghosts and finding something funny. Because I think they're things that we're inherently kind of scared of, but if you put them in funny situations, it kind of, it makes them really enjoyable and entertaining. Yeah. And so I was absolutely inspired by Shel Silverstein. I mean, okay. growing up, Shel Silverstein, he's the master. There was mm -hmm. no doubt. And then I was also really into scary stories to tell in the dark, though. I don't mm -hmm. know if you remember those. Yeah. This oh, series yeah. of books that had these Horrible drawings. They were the most terrifying yeah, yeah. drawings. But as a kid, I loved those yeah. because it felt like there's a little something more to that. A little right. bit. Those are a little creepy. It's a little something where maybe you know, maybe not supposed to quite know about, but it's uh, right. but but we're reading it. It's these these uh, really cool poems and stories. And so yeah, yeah both of those absolutely inspirations. Yeah. But also just really being into the horror genre in right. general and the comedy genre in right. general. Well, and kind of combining those. And yeah. speaking of, I mean, you know, people people that know uh, know you and have known your work uh, on stage here in Albuquerque, mm -hmm. you've written a lot yeah. uh, of stuff. You know, we were just talking a few moments about, uh, ago about Gorilla Tango, some mm -hmm. of the shows that you wrote in the past yeah. uh, that, that did just that, combined horror and comedy. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. So that's that's another thing. Uh, is you've got a very diverse writing background. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not just poetry. You Did you start writing for the theater? I did. I mean, I wrote in high school, I wrote some short stories, stuff mm -hmm. like that. But really, the bulk of my writing started um, in college when I was doing the theater program, particularly the MFA program at UNM, okay. and I, I did the, the playwriting program. And mm -hmm. so that was really, the bulk of my experience came through playwriting. Okay. And the, the whole poetry thing is actually a little bit new to me. This really? is all a little bit new. So that's um, scary to you. There's it's a little bit scary to me, right yeah, there. absolutely, okay. absolutely. Um, but yeah, but even like the, I've written a couple of uh, plays for young audiences, mm -hmm. and we did um, uh, Mimi and the Ghost with Casey mm -hmm. Mraz. Uh, we did that show, and even that had that little bit of horror element to right. it. And so I've always been drawn to that. Right. And so my, my writing for younger folks has always, even that has had a little bit of a, a, little bit of a scary yeah. but funny tone to it. Yeah. That's always been my huge thing. Well, so one thing which I think is pretty exciting, Jason, right? So you got a Kickstarter campaign. Yes. It, it ends January 12th. Correct. It has done very well because, mm -hmm. and I think this is a testament to the project itself, Kickstarter actually picked your project as one of the staff picks they out did. of the thousands of different Kickstarter campaigns out there. You were one of the chosen few. Yeah, which was awesome. It was huge. The, the day I started, I started the Kickstarter on December 13th. And uh, Kickstarter actually emailed me that day to let me know it had been selected as one of their staff picks. Wow. So right off the bat, they picked it, which was awesome. And then they actually featured it as a featured, as the featured selection in publishing for, I believe it was three days. So wow. when people went into Kickstarter, it was just right there. Right so you there have people all over the world that are Absolutely. backing this. People, if they want to back it, they still have time until yep. January 12th. Where yeah. do we go? We want to back this. 
Uh, so basically, if you go to Kickstarter, you can either look up The Tiniest Vampire or look up my name, Jason Witter, mm -hmm. or even if you just go to the publishing section, um, it's one of the, the top few in there. It shows up pretty quickly. But the easiest way, go to Kickstarter, look up Tiniest Vampire. Okay, and fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Jason, so. congrats on this. I can't wait to read this to Annalise, guys. For uh, a link to the Kickstarter campaign, which again wraps up January 12th, get in, back this book. It's going to be a huge success. Head over to Casa.com.